The Simple Network Management Protocol, SNMP, is a protocol used for managing and monitoring devices on a network, which is especially handy in local networks. It helps with efficient operation of various devices through switches. SNMP V2C and SNMP V3 are the most commonly used versions today. At its core, SNMP V2C is known for its simplicity and ease of use, making it a popular choice for those who prefer straightforward setups. However, if security is a high priority, SNMP V3 may be a better fit. Understanding these differences can help you select the right version for your needs. If you are new to SNMP or unsure about which version to choose, you can learn more by clicking the link in the description. In this first of a two-part episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure SNMP V2C on a Catalyst 1200 or 1300 switch. Next. Log into the graphical user interface, GUI, of your switch. In this demonstration, I'll be using a Catalyst 1200 switch running firmware version 4.1.4.1. I am currently in basic view, which is fine for now. Navigate to the status and statistics section, then system summary. Here, you'll find the system information section. It contains the data to collect using SNMP. The information includes system description, location, contact, host name, object ID, and uptime. Configure the system location, system contact, and host name parameters so that these changes reflect in the system management information base, MIB, results after configuration and SNMP testing. Next, access the administration section and select system settings. Here, you can configure the system location, system contact, and host name values. Either use the default values or enter custom ones. I will configure these parameters to demonstrate how they work and click apply. Return to status and statistics, then system summary to confirm that the information has been updated with the newly configured values. To activate SNMP, go to security and then TCP UDP services. Select the SNMP service option. The enable checkbox is unchecked, so click it and hit apply to activate the SNMP protocol. Under service name, you will see SNMP listed. Port 161 will be open in the UDP service table below. To configure SNMP version two, switch to the advanced view in the GUI. At the end of the menu, the SNMP option will show providing configuration options. I will use Views, Groups, and Communities. Starting with Views, you will see the Catalyst 1200 has default SNMP views named Default and Default Super. I'll create a new view to demonstrate how to allow all SNMP MIBs and then block a couple of object identifiers, OIDs. The target MIB will be System. I'll exclude two of its OIDs. Click the plus icon to create a view. Enter a name for the view to identify it and its purpose. Select user defined and enter the number one, which represents ISO and SNMP, allowing all SNMP MIBs. Ensure the include in view checkbox is checked to allow all MIBs. Click apply when ready. Next, I'll exclude the two OIDs from the system MIB so they don't appear in the SNMP polling. Enter the view name again, select user defined, and type the OID value to exclude. Uncheck the include in view box to exclude the OIDs. Click apply and repeat for the remaining OIDs. Close the window and the switch will show the configuration details. You can filter SNMP views to display data for the newly created view. That brings me to the end of part one. Click the link in the description for part two, where I'll wrap up configurations and conduct some verification tests using SNMP version 2C. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.